Hey, what's up guys? It's Matt from Cornelius Creations. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do one of my favorite things, and that is power cars. Now in order to power a carve, you need a Dremel or some type of flex shaft tool like the Fordham here. And what we will be doing is carving on a little block of wood. Now when I first started carving, I seen a lot of YouTube videos. And there are a lot of good ones out there that show you how to carve, but very few actually teach you how to carve, if that makes sense. So by the time this video is over with, I hope you have a ton of tips and tricks that you go away with in your tool bag that will really help empower you and show you how to get started. Now with that being said, this video is geared towards more of a you know beginner or novice type of audience, but if you are an intermediate carver, I'm sure there's still some takeaways that you can take home and still find useful. So let's get started. Now we are gonna be carving on this little block of wood right here and it will be a heart. I know a heart's not very manly, but this is something that we're all used to seeing, so it's easy to grasp. So let's get started drawing on this. I will be using two types of burrs in this demonstration, and that is a round carbide burr. Now you can pick one of these up at Walmart, just a regular Dremel brand for about three or four dollars. The second one I will be using is a cone-shaped burr. Now I got this off of Amazon. They may have a Dremel version of this. I don't use a lot of Dremel burrs, um, but I'm sure you can find one like that. And if you can't, it's all right. We can still make do with a round carbide. So let's get to drawing this heart right here. I'm going to make two lines right here to keep me in focus where I need to be. I'm not the best sketcher in the world, so you have to forgive me here. I just want to just put a plain idea down here for us to work with. So, I'm sure a lot of you can draw a lot better than I can. That's not my strongest point. Now, you can see I messed up here. One side is bigger than the other, so what I'm going to do to counter react that, I'm going to I could straighten it up, but I'm going to go ahead and erase right here. And, and you know what? If you're not making mistakes, you're not doing anything. So keep that in mind. Don't get frustrated. It takes a few times. With every tomahawk I do, if, you, if you've seen my channel, I always have to go back and correct something. Always happens. I never pull nothing off the first time around. Okay, after a few attempts, I finally got this thing right. Now here it is. Now one thing that we need to do, and you need to hear me here, is that we need to thicken the lines. What happens if I'm going along here and I accidentally take too much out? Well, that's going to be very hard to correct. So what we're going to do is thicken the lines up on this heart. That way, if I make a mistake, it's going to be easily corrected. It's always easier if you take too little off than too much. So let's thicken up the lines here. And here we are right there. That looks pretty good. Now, it's not perfectly straight, but I can fix a lot of this after I carve. So let's put the burr inside our flex shaft tool right here. Now, one thing to note here is that you need a mask when you do this. Now, I'm inside because the outdoor conditions aren't too good right now. So you need to always wear a mask. Now, I'm not wearing one in this video because I'm talking and I have my mic on, but you always wanna be sure to do that. Okay, when you first start, this rotary burr is going to be turning clockwise. Now, you have to watch out, and if you don't keep a steady grip on this, the burr will run from you. Let me show you here. See that? It just, it just fell on flat. It just runs away. So, you want to keep a steady hand while you do this. Now, we're going to start right here at the edge of the heart. And when you do this, you want to put your pinky down. Let me focus my camera here. You want to have your pinky down right here, or part of your hand right there. And when you do this, you want to come in at an angle. Let's see if we can see here, about like this. Now, when I first started, I wanted to go like this, right on top. This is not a router. You want to come in just at an angle, just right there. I'm not going to go super fast because I do not want to burn this wood, but I'm going to go at a moderate speed. So you just want to come in here, 
follow it on down. Now I'm keeping a steady hand while I'm moving. Now a lot of people will go back and forth, but if you go back and forth like this, I'll show you, like this, you're gonna get a lot of inconsistency. You want everything to remain level because if, if you don't, you will have to go fix a lot of stuff after you're through. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you what you call overlapping. Now watch this from the GoPro. I'm gonna go over. Watch this, I'm gonna go over it again. So I'm just being steady right there. Now when you come to a corner like this, you just don't wanna stop and try to go around it. You wanna take it and you wanna drag it on out straight just like that because if not it's around the corner so after you get through there you want to go back just overlap them you always want to overlap don't go back and forth you can go back and forth like this sometimes but for the sake of the video and for being clean i just want to keep it one direction And I'm kind of messy on this because I'm trying to trying to show you. So let's go ahead and do the whole thing. See how clean that cut is there? And when you do this, you want to try to keep it the same pressure. I got too much pressure right here. Now this side is cut deeper than that side. I essentially got this carved out right here. Now it looks rough, but I'm not through with it yet. I made it all the way around, but what I want to do, I want to overlap it one more time all the way around to um, get all, everything even. Just, I want to get everything even on here. Now there's one part right here that I cut deeper than over here, and I'm going to have to fix that. Um, but after this, I'm going to show you how to stipple. So let's do just a speed vamp on here on my GoPro. Just right quick, I told you guys not to go the other direction, but sometimes after you carved and made the initial cut, it does help smooth things out if you go the other direction. So it's one of those things that you have to play around with, but after only go the other direction after you made the initial cut. Um, now that rule doesn't always apply, but for the most time, it will help you keep a lot cleaner cut. Okay, we got everything basically carved out right here. Now we are gonna take the cone shape burr and we're gonna put it in at an angle, if you can see right there, and bring it just right along through there and carve that out. So let me get this changed. Okay, now that we got the other burr changed, I'm gonna take this, now I'm gonna drag it along here, and I'm gonna cut out the side. So what I wanna do on the positive space outside the heart, I wanna take this here and just put it in at an angle and make the heart stick out a little bit more. I'm not actually touching the heart, so I'll show you here. Okay, you see that? It's taking the sides of it and just flattening it out. Now this isn't over yet, this is gonna look really nice once we're through. So let's go ahead and get this done. Okay, we're through now. This is what it looks like. Now we're not done yet, we're gonna go around the negative space and stipple. But here it is. Now this is a little sloppy because I'm trying to rush this for the time on the video, but you got the basic idea. I went around there with my round carbide burr, cut it out, and then I, I took a cone burr and went around there and roughed out the sides of it at an angle. That way, it's kind of hard to get on camera here. You see that right there? It's just kind of at an angle. Now there are many things we can do in the negative space, but one of the most common is stippling. So let's put our round burr back in for the stippling. Now this process can take a little while, but what we are basically doing is taking the burr and just dipping it into the wood, not on the heart, but outside the heart. And so I'll show you here. See that effect right there? Now this looks a little messy on here. I could have made this heart bigger, but let's continue on this and get it done. 
<coughs> See, you need a mask. Okay, I just got through stippling and I got this pretty much where I want it. And here is what it looks like. And there you go. Now, like I said, it's a little rough, but there's something else that we can do to make this look a little bit better. Now, a lot of people won't teach you this, but this is a finishing technique and it just involves sandpaper. And what we're gonna do is take this, I think it's 120 grit and finish up maybe with a 200 or something. Take it, we're just gonna do the top of it right here to take the pencil markings on there. We're gonna do this to take the pencil markings out and to curve the outer edges of where we carved. Now that's where a lot of people go wrong at when they're carving. They, don't, they never curve off their edges. So always keep that in mind. The sandpaper just helps smooth everything out. Now you're probably gonna see some imperfections after I've done this. There we go. Look how nice that looks. That's pretty cool. Let me get my other camera here. It looks pretty nice for what it is. So what we're gonna do after this is that if I'm seeing any place that is a little off, and I'm seeing a few places, I'm gonna take this right here, this finer grit sandpaper, and I'm gonna go right along the edges. So I want to curve the edges of the heart just a little bit, just like that. Okay, and here we go. Not too bad. So there's a simple heart. Now if I took my time on this, I can make, make it look a lot better. So keep that in mind, but that's your basis right here. You have learned to properly relief carve. And hopefully you learned a few tips while I showed you this to keep from making mistakes. One more finish and touch and we'll be okay. Normally I would do this with my wood burner, but you can add a little quick touch of flames to kind of bring it out. Well, that's all guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've learned something, give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions at all, whether it pertains to this video or carving in general, just leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. You guys have a great day.